Welcome to the Video Game Rundown. I'm your wonderful host, Nick Lallier, and with me today is the one-of-a-kind Toby White. Thanks for having me on. Let's talk some video games. Let's jump right into the news. Microsoft is expecting to be releasing their new console this year. They have made it clear that this new Xbox will be backwards compatible with all games from previous generations. PlayStation is following in their footsteps as well. What else is I the, the the Xbox X will be a different approach for their new console for this generation, and Xbox is trying to keep up with the PlayStation and like with the PlayStation and unloading everything else. Square Enix has already given us a look at one of the new launch titles for this next generation of consoles. They have put out a release trailer for their new sci-fi shooter, Outriders. Recent, recently, earlier this month, Call of Duty Modern Warfare just released a fan favorite map for multiplayer, player, which is Rust. They also added new weapons for multiplayers. Rust having back, having Rust back in Call of Duty is awesome, which makes me want to play Call of Duty right now. Call of Duty will also have a, another title coming out later this year. Anyone who may be concerned over rumors regarding Nintendo products being delayed from their initial release date due to worries about the coronavirus, according to Nintendo, all products and new releases should not be affected by this in North America. However, this will be affected in Japan. And also, Obsidian's, Obsidian Entertainment's game, The Outer Worlds, release on the Switch will be delayed due to the coronavirus. Despite all the delays, the game has already sold 2 million units on other platforms, which is an amazing achievement. Now at PlayStation, they are just a few weeks away from releasing MLB, MLB The Show 20. If I had a PlayStation right now, I would play it right now. I, I, I would play that game all the time. I, I, might, I might ask my parents for it for once a semester is over. I wish my parents still bought me video games. Well, anyway, The Division 2 is expecting a new expansion pack, Warlords of New York, on March 3rd. I think we are all excited to see what else 2020 holds for us. We would we would like to end by both of us giving you guys a recommendation for a game that has spoken to us. Take it away, Toby. All right. The game I would recommend right now would be the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The campaign is amazing, and the graphics are amazing. And also, Captain Price is back, and he's like a living legend in the video game world. And, and I'm happy that the game is back. Oh, man. The game I would like to recommend anyone to play would be one of my favorite games of 2019 and maybe even of all the time. Made by the same folks who put together Fallout New Vegas, The Outer Worlds simply put me right into the ac action, giving me game-changing decisions right off the bat. No more waiting 20 minutes to get into the action. Either you could take those 20 minutes talking to the NPCs or you could just kill them off like any other character, no more choosing over fractions, they could all die, it's just a video game anyway. That's why I recommend this game, it's the perfect example of what a video game should be, fun with unlimited freedom and unlimited decisions. Thank you for tuning in for all your video game news. I'm your host, Nick Lallier. And I'm Toy White. And we're signing off, see you next time.